Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. This video is actually a request. It's going to be on Conor McGregor. I'm going to focus on standing. This video has nothing to do with McGregor's antics outside of the cage or personal opinions on him. This is strictly on his striking and some of the great things he does in the striking department. So let's get right into it. So a huge portion of Conor McGregor's stand-up game is sleight of hand, traps, and tricks. Similar to submission grappling and BJJ, it's not the first move that's the primary attack, it's the follow-up based on your reactions. That's the intended attack. So one thing McGregor loves to do, he loves to throw that one-two, but he does this like pawing thing with his right hand. If he gets you to mimic what he's doing or react in some way, I can show you countless examples of this. Speaking of his straight left, it's very impressive because there's no load up to it, but there's a ton of power behind it. So much efficiency in his punch with him. He leans forward with his body weight behind the punch, arm is straight like a lance, and his left leg kicks out almost all in one motion. There's a kinetic chain from the leg, through the body, through the arm, into the fist. It's not telegraph, just fluid motion and strike. His reaction time is amazing standing. Part of that is due to him being able to predict what his opponent's gonna do. Here he pretends to fall for his same traps and reacts to the left hand. His opponent thinks he's open for a punch down the middle. Connor knowing he took the bait is ready and he slips the strike. He pushes through his legs recoils back with a left hook counter that drops his opponent who is caught off guard. I mean, this is like beautiful stuff. Like I said, on top of his natural gifts and abilities like reaction time, it's all about setups. Here's that half-hearted strike thrown out there to draw a predictable reaction. Marcus Brimage covers up, falls back, moves in to return fire with a straight. Connor was waiting for it though, slightly gets out of the way of the punch, and counters at an angle with the uppercut. Against Poirier, again with the pouring reaction seeking strike. Poirier falls for it, flinches. Connor immediately throws it again and obstructs his vision, then follows up with a straight left. Here's another example on Poirier. Light jab for reaction. Follows up with the same punch, tap tap, immediate shot with a power hand, which is the intended damaging blow. Here against Dennis Seaver, right jab to his arm. It's a distraction, left straight, the kill shot down the middle on Seaver's compromised defenses. Against Jose Aldo, same patterns and traps. Pulls out, Aldo falls for it, moves into strike, commits, loaded up leaves himself wide open for Connor who is waiting. Connor catches him clean with the counter punch, putting him out. When you can predict and anticipate, you aren't reacting in real time. It's a timed action, which will always beat out real time reaction. Let's talk about Connor's defense. He has great defense. He rolls with a lot of shots or evades them altogether. Part of that is his ability to read loaded strikes and his keen reaction time. Eddie Alvarez throws a left hook. Connor moves just out of range like inches it misses. Eddie telegraphs the right. Connor sees it coming a mile away. Eddie having loaded up on the right hook is off balance now. Connor pops up and lands the counter because Eddie's so off balance, he can't reset his stance to a defensive position fast enough. Some other aspects of Connor's stand up. He's excellent at cutting his opponents off in a cage. He has great distance control, whether it's closing distance or creating distance for himself defensively. That's that darting in style similar to Lyoto Machida. McGregor punches at angles often. His uppercuts are particularly dangerous. They come up and under your defensive guard standing and find your chin. You see McGregor utilizing kicks in fights, but they're more probing. Sometimes for defensive purposes to keep you at a certain distance, his bread and butter is definitely his hands. It's all about the hands with him. Those are the weapons that he's most comfortable with and more often than not, superior to his opponents. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up this short video. There's so many things that McGregor does standing. I can probably make a part two. 
Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please share it, like, consider subscribing. Truly appreciate it and the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next segment.